man, look, right now, and I'm saying this humbly, I got the best channel right now as far as information. Bro, I just said everything, everything I've said in my videos from Jam, Jam, from uh, Jamel Charlo videos, to my Demetrius Andre videos, to my Terrence Crawford videos, Terrence Crawford just all said in one video. It, from what he, uh, when the uh, reporters were just talking to him today. He said everything I said, bro. When I said the, the reason for the uh, stripping, he gave y'all a reason that I gave. Everything he said about, man, I know Ennis don't want the belts like this. I said that. Everything he said. When he said it's going to be a tall task for Demetri Andre, he got the talent. But going up to 68, then you know the guys want Benavidez to win. Be a better business. Bro, I said all this, bro. I'm telling you. Ain't no cap on here. Ain't no clickbait. When I say I know what's, what be going on, I be knowing. I ain't even have to look at the video, bro. I be knowing. I'm just telling you. It's getting to the point now where it's just self-explanatory. Anybody who argue, that's why I sometimes I don't, I don't like, man, I be like, man, I just block a dude, bro. I ain't finna argue with you, bro. You can go listen to them other dudes, man. I know what I'm really talking about. He said everything I've said in my videos. Everything. Confirmed it. Confirmed it. You little munchkins in the comments. Everything. From the Spence thing. Dudes talking about, oh, 54, 54, 54. Man, I'm glad I blocked the old boy talking about 54. All the other stuff. Bro, he was talking about 47. He just said it. Everything he said. He confirmed it for me. And y'all out here capping. Y'all out here capping hard. He said everything. That's why I'm glad. Man, Terrence Crawford, the real one. I know, I knew I, man, I knew I. I knew we thought the same, bro. I'm like, man, I know he think the same. I'm talking about Demetri Andre ain't no talent. Terrence Crawford thinks so. He think he got a chance against Benavidez. He got he he just said, bro, I just did a video probably five minutes ago about Demetri Andre. It says the same thing that I'm saying now. That I've been saying about Demetri Andre. And he's saying confirming what I said. That's all, man. That's all I need to know. Let me just keep talking and running my mouth then, because the truth done found its way over here. Yeah. I be breaking things down, man. Really be breaking things down. Even when he said the stuff about uh, Shakur now taking fights, a different approach. You know, he's growing, he's getting older, it's just a natural thing. Bro, I've been saying all this stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? No emotions, feelings behind it. I'm just breaking down facts and what I'm saying. And then... He's talking about the uh, IBL. Forget the IBL. I told y'all already. I said what I need to say, bro. He's sanctioned by the VR her cap, and I said all this already. Already, I said I've said all this. Now I want y'all to find. Tell me somebody that I can go find right now who said everything the Terrence Crawford said in all his video, in all their videos, and I go to it right now. Nobody. I ain't up here clickbaiting, bro. For what? If I was, I'd be saying, Tank finna fight so-and-so. Bro, come on, man. <laughs> I don't be, I would find the biggest star in boxing and just talk about him. Then I'd go to the second biggest guy and just talk about him. That ain't how it work, man. You got to say real facts out here. Real facts. It's it's going on. I'm out here predicting the future. Like, uh, y'all remember, remember that show, The Dead Zone? When you see what's going on before it happened? It's like the butterfly effect. I'm giving y'all real information. I ain't asking nobody to send me none or do nothing for me. I'm just like, all right, bro. Just, I'm just going to put the information out there. I really wasn't supposed to put that real reason video out there. I'm going to be 100 with you. People don't even be hitting the like button like that on videos like that. And I can sit up here and get in trouble for a video like that, putting all this business out there like that. I really, I really don't even want to put the part three out there to be 100. To be honest with you, I'm like, man, I'm getting these dudes free game, bro. They getting too much free game. They be arguing with me, don't even hit the like button. Ain't no support. Then they go to somebody else's channel and be like, oh, I'll pay you to ask you a question. Bro, I'm giving out real information, bro. Dudes be up here arguing with me all the time. Bro, at least hit the like button. I ain't asking for nobody else to do nothing else. That's why I wouldn't even go live, man. I'm like, man, these dudes. 
People be over here just capping, bro. A lot of people just be waiting on me to say something wrong. That's why I'm like, yeah, all right, bro. I see what's going on. That's why I be having an attitude, man. I be seeing it already, bro. I was in the streets a long time, bro. When a dude ain't said nothing positive to you the whole time, the first thing he say to you is negative, nah, I don't want to talk to no dude like that. You probably going to end up getting blocked. There's 7 billion people on earth. I don't want to talk to you. And that's real talk. I, I do that in real life. I probably got like two, one number in my phone. That's probably it. But no, nah, I, don't, I don't be, when I'm finna give you some free game and keep you around for you an enemy. I don't hang with no enemies. I'm giving these folks free game out here. Terry Crawford just uh, confirmed everything I said, man. Everything. I could be out here capping for the other dudes. Like, yeah, Canelo said this. and Everything I said about Canelo was true. I kept it all the way 100. The good things I said, bad things. Stuff about Charlo. I said the same thing that Terrence Crawford said about Jamal Char Jamel Charlo. He just went out there and wanted to pay that. He ain't want. He ain't challenge himself. He ain't act like he wanted to win. He just wanted the last 12 rounds and get a payday. That's it. That's why I told y'all already. People are like, oh man, he's just putting out information. All right, man. Y'all don't think like this because y'all, y'all ain't the real fans. Y'all don't really look at boxing like that. Y'all ain't real fans. Y'all think dudes be hating, putting out clickbait. Nah, y'all ain't real fans. Y'all is not real fans. Terry Crawford just said, everything I be saying in my videos. Well, I know what that means then. If the undisputed champion of the world, the, uh, the number one pound for pound best fighter in the world uh, agree with me, I'm doing the right thing. I don't need to, I don't need to listen to nobody else. It's a wrap. I don't got to hear what y'all saying. He done already told me. I already know what I'm talking about. Said everything I said. From from Jamel Charlo to the business with Canelo, it'll happen if it happened. I ain't really been pressing the gas on that, but I have. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep doing that because I know he ain't going to want to be too aggressive with it, but I ain't it. Shoot. They was aggressive when they wanted to fight Floyd at 23. You know what I'm saying? Then when they lost, they don't want nobody to bring it up. Nah, I ain't finna do that. But yeah, Terry Crawford confirmed everything, man. I've told people a long time. I've told people for a long time. He said the same thing, man. Jerron in is just in the same position I am. Didn't I just say that? Bro, I just made a whole video talking about that. Yeah, Jerron in is in the same position I am. And when I leave, he gonna be the one who's gonna be running things. Bro, I just said that. Man, y'all think dudes be out here capping. Y'all y'all don't know Terrence Crawford. People are like, yeah, Terrence Crawford, he just talks so real. Hey, look at the comments on the video, too. Look at the comments. I'm going to tell y'all how, how y'all know people ain't been following Terrence Crawford and it's a lot of casuals out here. Go to go, go to the videos and look at the people in the comments talking about, yeah, Terrence Crawford, he just respect other fighters. Duh, he been doing that. He ain't got to disrespect no dude to knock his head off. Who, t who told y'all Terrence Crawford talk like that? That's why I said these dudes are new fans, bro. Trust me. New. Terry Crawford confirmed everything I was saying. And y'all wanna act like, oh man. I told you. I told you. Man, thanks for all the support out there, you know what I'm saying? Uh all the subscribers. Um all the people who um who uh actually hit the like button to support, you know what I'm saying? I know the ones who really support, you know what I'm saying? Day ones. Um I know all y'all who support, man. Appreciate the support out there. You know what I'm saying? We going we the real boxing fans, you know what I'm saying? The ones who really who really sit up here and say stuff that people don't want to hear. We risk our risk getting disrespected and blocked and all this other old childish stuff. But then when I start blocking dudes, it's a problem. Oh, but I'm right, though. Why would I argue with somebody who don't want to hear me? I was getting blocked in 2016, 17, 18. I think Terrence Crawford could beat uh, Earl Spence, probably even by knockout. Block. What? I thought I could. I thought he could. I think he could knock him out, though. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the same dude that jumping my conversation like, oh yeah. 
I know who uh, Andre is, and I know who this guy. I know his whole resume. You know him, but you think he a bomb? How you know about his resume, but you think he a bomb? Don't understand that. Oh, I know his resume. He ain't fought nobody. Bro, I ain't never heard nobody say that about Munguia, though. That's what I'm saying. The business, the business of boxing is getting weird, man. It's a lot of people who uh really fronting, man. They ain't really uh they ain't really keeping up with it. But I'ma just keep dropping my video, man. I don't care what nobody else say for real. Alright, see, people don't really like to uh show you real love in real life anyway, you know what I'm saying? They'll say you doing everything correctly and still be like, look at how he acting. Acting? What you mean acting? I'm just Doing what I'm supposed to do. You know, everybody's finding a little reason to hate, bro. That come from other things. That's trauma. Trauma. They bring all kind of personal stuff to boxing. Oh, he from my country. Who cares? I don't care where you from. Ain't nobody, I ain't, you, you don't hear me sitting, running around telling everybody where I'm from. And you don't even know my name, and I'm sitting here telling you where I'm from. Come on, man. I don't care about none of that. Care about none of that. None of that, bro. I don't care about none of that. You over here now. That's all I know. <laughs> right? You over here now, right? Alright then. That's all that matter. Where you at now? Let's talk about now. I don't want to talk about what happened yesterday. But um it's a lot of things going on in boxing. I don't even know if I want to put that part three out, man, for real. I might wait like a whole two or three months, man. Because people are like, I'm out here taking penitentiary chances and risk. I got to sit out here and say allegedly and all the other stuff. People out here like, watch the whole video. I only hit the like button. Disrespectful, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care about it, for real. I don't really care. I really don't, to be honest. Because I be figuring out who really real and who ain't. That why I don't even go back and forth. I be like, oh, that what you said? OK. You're going to have to watch from another uh, channel or something, bro. For real, for real. Because I don't be caring about clickbait. I just want to be, I just want history to prove me right. That's all I care about. And if you look at recently, I've been pretty right. I've lost a few fights, but guess what? On everything, the fight, when I said the fights, when I made my predictions, and I got that Lee Wood, Josh Warrington fight, I said, hey, Josh Warrington can win, but if Lee Wood catch him like he did in the other fight, cause, cause that, that was that uppercut, or I think it was a hook or something, I was like, if he hit Josh Warrington with that, it's gonna be over with. He hit Josh Warrington with it. Just like when I said that uh, Joe Gordina fight, I said, hey, if, if Edward Vasquez punch over that guard, if he punch over that guard, he going to have a good chance with that fight. I'm like, dang. And it went like how it went. Man, I'll be knowing what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I can't deal with the other stuff. You know what I'm saying? I just do breakdowns. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? That's all. The, hey, go. Sometimes it go the other way. That's how it is. That's why we had the fights. People be like, "Oh, you got a fight wrong." Yeah, it depends on what kind of fight it is, bro. If it's a fight you've been talking about for eight years, and you done built your whole channel off of that one fight, yeah, bro. I mean, people gonna go off on you. That's just, that just natural. But most of these guys, people get over after a couple of weeks. I mean, it's boxing, bro. We all, it's a gladiator sport, bro. This ain't no um, backyard football. You know what I'm saying? People die in football, too, but in boxing, it's, it happens a lot more. Straight up. A whole lot more. Y'all talking about the pros. Just think about these bare knuckle fights and stuff we don't be hearing about. Shoot, people be getting out of there all the time. Man, yeah, man, Terrence Crawford, man, he made me up. That was, that was motivation right there. I don't care what nobody say. 
That was motivation. He one of my favorite fighters. Been following him for a long time. He like, okay, he got the same mindset I got. Oh, they ain't giving some Demetri Andre. He basically gonna have to get a knockout. I just said that in the video early. I will be dropping that song. Uh, but it's it got some other stuff going on. He just said the business ain't right with it. Everything he said. Go back and listen to the interview. They got a full interview. Some of it chopped up, but I ain't going to shout out no channel for sure. I don't work for nobody. But they got the interview out there. Um, yeah, man. For real. That was motivation here and there. Because now I know I'm talking about, You know what I'm saying? You don't want to sit here and talk about the Well, some people do. They'll be like, well, I'm just... Good thing I'm getting views. I ain't trying to talk about the wrong thing. I, ain't, I don't care about no views. If I was trying to go viral, I could have been doing some wild stuff, putting up some. That's why I don't even spend that much time doing all the other stuff. It, that's when it's uh, manufactured, bro. It's like, how, like how some of this boxing is. Put together fights, fake mandatories. We sending people belts now. I don't know when that started to happen, but that's going on too much now. And Canelo and Loma, y'all got a lot of stuff similar to what the stuff I ain't been liking that it happened to y'all. And then people be like, why you got a problem with them? Cause man, they brought too much. Uh they got too many presidents having to do certain things, man. Just just let the uh go by the rankings and whoever next, go next, man. Like it ain't that hard. Pick and see who's next and this person. Now we gotta do all this certain stuff for Canelo. Come on, man. Tell him to get the Bivol rematch back. Anybody else, y'all would have been telling him, oh, Spence got to get a rematch with Bivol on. Man, okay, man. Canelo ain't got to get a rematch with Bivol. But Spence, yeah, he got to get a rematch. That's cool with me, man. I ain't got no problem with it. But, yeah, man, that was good to hear, though. Terrence Crawford basically said, yeah, your, your boy, talk, he know what he talking about. Anybody who hating about it, yeah, they disagree with what I'm saying too then. And y'all can't disagree with him because it's his business. It's his business. Y'all ain't the one finna fight Spence. It ain't none of y'all been there. That's why he just said, I'm fighting at 47. I don't know what everybody else talking about. Exactly. And you got these grown men out here. Man, because I'm talking about some, yeah, uh, Spence want to get the belt back. and Now he can't get his belt back. Oh, the fight was going to be at 54 anyway. Bro, dudes don't even know they do catch weights all the time, but I ain't even getting all that, man. It's just casual talk, bro. Casual talk. But that's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.